All right, we are headed out to a little early morning. Cars and coffee. This is actually a really, really good location. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy this spot. I know I do. Glad they're still doing it because uh, people be getting crazy, but I definitely don't get crazy out there because I know how you know precious these spots are. So let's get a cold start. Three, two, one. after that um i'm gonna have to go ahead and get me like a little honda civic or something like that like a little like you know two thousand dollar honda civic because uh i need a more reliable daily or <laughs> a daily that if something were to happen to it you know just get rid of it get your money back and get another one <laughs> so uh i don't think i really need to get gas hold on yeah, I don't need to get gas. I'm good to go. All right, so if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel and want to stay up to date with everything, make sure you drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications. I'm going to let the car warm up, and then I'll catch you when we're on the road. We actually are not that far from this meet. That's why I love this location, because it isn't like a 45-minute drive, like an hour drive or something like that. It's like technically almost like right around the corner, which is a massive W. So let's get on the way. I thought it would be there's still a lot of condensation and shit out but definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be which is a nice thing I think it's gonna be a pretty good turnout because it is still you know pretty warm out even though it dropped to like low 50s I'm with it I'm with it I'm with it go ahead and put the uh, track mode on still early but oh well enough people out on the road that I don't really care <laughs> Whew. can't wait to go ahead and get this clutch installed man it's been over a year since I have been able to do like an actual watt pull <laughs> not hearing the yeah! and the high rpms crazy section how long you think the stock cluster gonna last to be honest with you I probably I think I can probably get uh, I would say maybe like four to six K miles out of it before I'm gonna have to go ahead and upgrade to a beefier clutch the only reason why I'm putting this in the car right now is because again 
It's a brand new clutch. I got it for free uh, in a trade. Well, not necessarily free, but I got it in a trade. So there's like really no reason to not put this in. And I know for a fact, like, ain't nobody gonna buy a stock clutch for a 350, um, at least for what they're actually worth resale. So I might as well just put it in and then just, you know, get the data for myself how long these things actually last because i know some fellas say they make like 800 horsepower on the stock clutch i don't know about that um i can believe like 7 750 for like a little bit but 800 i don't know about that <laughs> we'll see we'll see and my car dirty I'll probably get like i said like 46k miles out of it because again i'm not gonna make this car like 800 horsepower off rip i gotta get used to because i've actually technically never been in a um well on paper i haven't been in a 600 horsepower car but we all know that 99 was pushing some p so i kind of want to take it baby steps you know i've done three four five technically six um now i kind of want to fuck with seven just to see how that is you know 7750 and then uh, after that you know I'm probably gonna skip 800 and go right to 9 and then I think that'll be like where I stop I say this right now and then you know <laughs> this thing will be getting twin turbos and a built uh, RPG short block <laughs> oh man yeah but if, I, if that was to happen bro I'm gonna destroy you know all my perception of speed everything that isn't like 900 plus wheels will feel slow as fuck you know that's gonna just mess everything up unless it's lightweight xg50 bro see that's exactly see shit like that where are you going on a saturday morning at 840 wherever you're trying to get to dog you're late just accept it buddy's like cutting up in traffic bro where the fuck's a cop when you need one real shit but uh, uh well <laughs> let me stop but uh i'm gonna catch y'all when we get closer to the meet because oh my god bro damn it's all this fucking water and shit i'm gonna catch y'all when we get closer to the meet because this is probably gonna be busting no cap and I know this road noise is probably gonna get annoying. Even in this car, it'll probably get annoying. And I'm just trying to jam off to some music right now. So I'm gonna catch you guys in like probably like 10, 15 minutes. A few moments later. All right, we are about to pull up. this thing back in the comfort mode while I was driving on that bumpy ass road that's probably the reason why I actually shut the camera off too because that road is just like, like it's trash we've been to pull up it's gonna be packed literally because I'm like an hour late but it's all good this thing runs to like 12 but I gotta be back before then
honestly don't think I'm gonna have. Oh yeah. There's gonna be no places to park. I'll tell you that right now. My dirty ish car. How's it going, boss? Good. How are you? Let's follow this guy right here. All right. Thank cool. You. Be it. Nice car, man. Thank you. Viper over there. That thing is clean. The thing is, I don't really want to be trapped in the back. Oh, they're parking in the dirt road and shit. Yo. Is there like an incline? Please tell me there's not. One eternity later. All right, we are in the venue. Got a nice Cadillac here, CTS, a CTS V. I'm a tire. He's got the. Uh, he's got the R2s on here as well. Hell yeah. He on wires though. He needs to watch out. Got another CTSV. These things are clean though, man. Oh, he has the Wells Polish Black. Hold on, this look good. Or not polished black. I don't know why I said polished black. They are a polished look, but I guess powder coated black. And this flake from the paint. Yeah, this is this is nice. I like this a lot. Hell yeah. It would have been crazy if it was a six-speed car, but still nonetheless, I like this. Hmm. I've actually never seen, I think it's the S77s too. Powder coated the black. And the hardware powder coated black too. That's just legit. So we got over here. AMG by Turbo. Probably gonna walk around the back way over here first, and then kind of snake back up. Excuse me. And dude, that interior. SL60. Which one is this? I don't know which one this is. Oh no, it's the same one. This is the bad. Oh wait, no. Is it the same one? It's an, AM, it's an AMG. I don't even know which one this is. They both look crazy though. BMW. M4. Yep. M4 competition. This shit's tough. This color is nice too. Damn, I really like the color. That color is hella nice. I'm about to see what's over here. I've seen this M4 comp quite a bit. That hood is, uh, you can't miss that hood. Got an M3. On the TE37s. Six speed manual too. Oh my god. See the thing is if I got some shit like this, it ruined Ford for me 100 percent Because you get like the look, the you know, the performance and the interior. It's a four-door too. What is this? Yeah, M4. Alcantara wheel, that shit is Really nice. It's the M4 competition. Which one y'all like more, the M4 comp or the M3 comp? To be honest with you, I'd probably try out the M3 sedan, sedan version. 
with the six feet just to see how it is. And if I didn't like it, I would just get the, the M4. <laughs> M6. This is a lot bigger. But um, it still looks good. It's got the uh, the it's got the peanut, whatever you want to call it, interior. M6 comp. What is this interior called? I want to say it's like the peanut or a caramel. I don't know how you would call it, but it looks good. I love it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Or it could be red. Maybe the tent's throwing me off. We got an SS, a six pin. Oh, he did the same shit with his welds. Powder coated him. Kind of like that powder coater, like polished kind of finish right here. I like that. Real good. Forest carbon hood, yeah, that should look good. Got a track hog. Oh no, not a track hog. My bad. Supercharged Jeep Grand Cherokee. Damn. Oh no, it's a track hog. My bad. Man, they throw. 6.2 and everything, bro, the floor. NSX. Okay, this is kind of funny. Like, <laughs> you could probably stack two NSXs and it's, it still wouldn't be as big as the track hawk. That's funny. He's on like 18s, I think, too. So realistically, is he on 18s? These are definitely 18s. He's on 18, so the car is sitting a little bit higher than it normally would. His SDI is hard. It's got a nice little wrap. It's got some three pieces on here. Titanium lugs. Six speed. All right. Yeah, this is nice. Hell yeah, I like this. This clean, clean, simple build. Wheels, lower it. Little arrow on it. Nice wrap. I approve. You got a Supra. A lot of arrow on it. The front. It's got the Gazoo Racing logo on it. That's thing nice. It's got the real, real nice interior. Got a roll bar in there as well. Damn. This is this is real nice, bro. You got the zines on there. I see the uh, yeah, yeah, you got the rays on here. I do fuck with these Mark Fives. Yeah. Damn, bro, it's a wide body kit. I think this is a Varus kit. Yeah, it's nice. Caro seats. I think this is a Varus bright body kit. It's got the uh, roll bar. Or the cage, not the roll bar. Ooh. I like this. This is actually really, really nice. Yes's clean look. We got a skyline. What's the uh, 
The BC Fords, you can't go wrong with those. Ryan Drive. You can get the 10R in there. These EO ones are nice though. I do like these. Yeah, 350. Definitely at 1920. He got the Nitto. Um, you get the R2s on this shit too. Does he get the, these are R2s? No, these are these are G2s. Yeah, it's G2s. Oh shit. We got a dark horse. <laughs> Six feet too. I don't care what anybody says. These look good. I love the C5. The C5 is clean. C6 Z06. <laughs> Somebody just picked this up too. It's got the dealer plates on it. This probably just got picked up. Ooh, yeah, C7Z on the signatures. Seven speed manual. Alright, hell yeah. Got a C8. one y'all taking the C8 or the C7 y'all know what I'm taking the CR1 this for real is my favorite CR1 though this <laughs> this shit tough That's a small blower. <laughs> Let's go over here. That GT500. Hell yeah. It's funny how many people make comments on stuff they don't know. Another guy with the uh, powder coated welds. I guess that's the move now. Shit. This turbo car. Yeah, this thing is turbo. It's got the kind of like the Vic Jr. shit I got on my uh, 99 on there. Looks like it. Yeah, this shit crazy. Ah, damn. Sorry about the background noise, but we got the supercar lineup right here. Horses. They better open up those food trucks because I'm about to get hungry. We got the 911 Turbo S. Yeah, these things are fast as hell. McLaren. Yeah, I love this color. It's like a baby blue, whatever. And I like the interiors of the McLarens because, like, like a nice balance of like driver focus but it just looks nice too og porsche right here i think it's a 911 damn bro what is this 
This is nice though. I do like these. Another Turbo S. A GTR. Another GTR. Another Porsche in a crazy color. It looks nice though. Not crazy, but it looks nice. Lambo. Then you got the blue seats in here. Yeah, I see them at the tent. That should look nice. You got a, uh, you got a Viper on some BC Forge. Bentley Potter. Like um, like the raised wheels. I forgot the the wheel actual name, but I wonder if they kind of got them from from raised because it looks literally like some wheels I've seen on some FRSs and like some BRZs, but obviously you know a different offset and size. But it looks good. That's pretty much all we got here, man. Somebody did like burn out or some shit. My homeboy coming through. Let's get over here. <clears throat> man, dude, that dark horse, man, S650. I hope they bring in like a performance pack version that has the Tremec in there. coming to potentially pick up the two valve right now so i to try to get there uh so they're not waiting they're supposed to get here at like noon but i guess they were hauling ass so that's what's up i didn't even get to finish my meal man Oh well. This old Porky's meat's legit, man. I hope people don't like keep acting up and doing burnouts and shit. Ruining this shit, because this is a pretty nice spot. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can whip it around. I don't think so though. Up a Yui at that like I guess park entrance 
and come back down this way because it will be faster. Hey, you Earl? No, no, no. No, you have a YouTube channel though. Yeah, you mean ears? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's a nice car. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Earl. <laughs> up the car though because I am for real ready to move on a two valve man it was fun it was fun but it's just not worth it anymore to me I think 99.9% .9 people can agree that it ain't really worth it so hopefully that she gets picked up to date sold um this will be the end of this video if not we'll follow up but yeah catch you guys in the next one if you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe to the channel turn post notifications Deuces.